Hello viewers, I am Dr. Vikas Gupta. Here I am sharing the research legal thought progressing to propound a new school of jurisprudence that is opportunistic school of jurisprudence. In this video, opinion and criticism is made on the theory given by Ahari. According to him, law is the guarantee of the conditions of life of society assured by the state's power of constraint. Law is to serve social purpose. He takes law as the means to an end. The end of law is to serve purpose. In my opinion, how one can ensure that state's power of constraint will establish peace and order in society. Constraints may also result into revolt. Therefore, state firstly deems about what kind of society they are looking for. The parameters of the desirous society varies from state to state's idea. State being an authority has an opportunity to impose their ideology upon the individuals to look forward their desirous society. Approach of an authority directly affects the sustainability of society, which may be constructive or destructive. Possibly, if the ideology of authority is in line of the ideology of society, then the instructions framed by the authority will establish peace and order, otherwise not. It will be hypothetical to say that society is perfect. None of the society can claim to be perfect as the individuals of the society have different human behavior and different interest. Ahari takes law as a means to an end and the end of the law is to serve purpose of society. This statement seems to be incomplete. Here the end of law is to serve the purpose of the desirous society which shall be according to the ideology of authority. Both satisfaction and dissatisfaction of the law simultaneously exist in the society. End of law cannot solely serve the purpose. 